So you want to start a vending machine business and you don't want to break the bank. I have a way that you can start a vending machine business for $200. So my name is Don Luxama and this is a No Name Podcast. I'm an entrepreneur. I have about eight vending machines in four locations making five figures a year. A way to start a vending machine business for only $200 is to do bulk vending. Bulk vending machines are the vending machines that you see with like gumballs, the Skittles, the M&Ms, those types of machines. Those machines cost under $200. I bought my machine for only $180. So now the question is, how do I find locations? What do I need to start this business? To find vending machine locations, you could buy vending machines on locations, you could ask your friends and families, or you could personally go out and you could scout for these locations. The way that I was able to put my gumball machine on location was I already had a location, and I realized that there was an influx amount of kids that wanted to buy from the vending machine, but sometimes they didn't have enough money, and that was a problem. So what I did was I gave them the option to buy gumballs, Skittles, M&Ms for only 25 cents. So the way that you could find these different types of bulk vending machines, you could buy them on locations. I've seen people selling their whole entire bulk vending route. So if you see someone selling their whole entire bulk vending route and the numbers make sense, make sure you jump on it. What I say all the time, so in terms of how much money to spend, what I tell people is you take the sales price, you divide that price by 10, and whatever that number is, you want to make sure that vending machine makes that every single month. So if someone's selling their bulk vending machine route for $1,000, you want to make sure that's making about $100 a month. Usually that's not the case with bulk vending because the average bulk vending machine makes about $30 a month. You want to make sure that's good. Where do you find these people selling their location? You find a Facebook Marketplace, offer up in Craigslist. Also, what you could do is you could scour locations. What I would do is I would go around my city and I would look at every place that has kids. So I'll be looking at barbershops, I'll be looking at laundromats, different types of schools. Those are the type of locations where I would want to put my book vending machine at. Put the book vending machine at those locations because it has more kids. Usually, an adult is not buying gumballs or like Skittles. It's most likely kids. So you want to make sure that the places you're putting your book vending machine has a lot of kids. So after you find this location either what you could do either you buy or you could talk to the manager i have a script so what you're going to tell the manager that you're going to put these vending machines this is exactly what you're going to say you say hi my name is don Sama. i'm from dsk vending i have a free gumball machine that i could place in your location would you be interested either they're going to say yes they're going to say no in terms of vending machines they might want a commission from vending machines because they might say hey it's taking electricity but the gumball machine takes no electricity it's very small it's very convenient it's easy to move in and out of the establishment so business owners will be more prone to say yes because it's small and it can fit in many locations so if a business owner you ask for commission just tell them that you're a service provider also i've seen people that would donate a percentage of their money to charity so that's where they would tell the business owner like hey donating 10 percent five percent to charity so that's why i can't give you commission i've seen people do that in terms of what makes a good location for your bulk vending machine first of all you want to make sure that the location has a lot of kids in it you want to make sure that's a lot of foot traffic you also want to make sure that people are waiting a long time in this location schools or like places where kids are at and parents are waiting because kids are like hey Hey mom, I want I want a gumball. Hey mom, I want some Skittles. Hey mom, I want some M and M's. And the machines right there. A lot of times when people start vending machine businesses, they put vending machines or bulk vending machine in places where it's not visible, so people don't see their vending machine. And then they're like, dang, why am I not getting enough orders? You're not getting enough orders because it's not in a good place. So now, where do you buy these vending machines from? I bought my vending machines from GumballMachines.com. If you don't want to buy a brand new one, you can always go to Facebook Marketplace and you can always buy one. Facebook Marketplace, you have to understand that it's not guaranteed. They don't have no guarantees. You could be buying a, a bad machine if you don't know how to check it for the bulk vending machine you want to make sure it has the keys and you want to make sure that everything twists you want to make sure that it's clean you want to make sure that nothing is broken on the machine when you're going to buy a bulk vending machine so after you do this i tell this to people all the time don't buy the vending machine unless you have the locations you want all your assets to be making money like i bought big vending machines that sat for months and that didn't make me any money don't buy assets that don't make you any money so first you're going to call all the local all the local business owners in your town places that have a lot of kids like the YMCA's, the um, the the gyms, the barbershops, the laundromats, places that a lot of kids are gonna be at. You're gonna ask, hey, can I put a free gumball machine in your location, in your establishment? Don't bring up anything about commission. If you bring up anything about commission, they're more likely gonna ask for it. If they say yes, then that's when you go over to gumballmachines.com. You go to a Facebook Marketplace offer up in Craigslist, and then you go buy the machine and you place it in. So basically, that's how you start a vending machine business for under two hundred dollars. What we did. Let's say you have more money than two hundred dollars. I know a bunch of people that watch my videos are like 16 years old they're like 15 like hey Donald I don't have I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on vending machines how can I get into this business and that's the way that you could get into the business you could keep on scaling this business right so the average gumball machine makes $30 a month 10 gumball machines 
doing $300 a month and you have 100 gumball machines doing $1,000 a month. Some gumball machines are getting very advanced. I've seen these guys, like, I think they're called, like, Quick Play. They have, like, these huge, huge gumball machines that are cost, like, $3,000 and they have cartridge on them. Like, they look amazing. Also, what you could do if you have more than $200, you could buy both the vending machines and then you could add a bulk vending machine to increase your profits. That's what we did. If you guys got this far to the video, make sure you put focus down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Peace.